the goats are out. They're in the yard. Yo, all these out. I'm gonna go get him. The goats are gonna get some hay in the barn down here. Well, you gotta undo her head gate. Can you do that? I'll show you how. All right, now come over here. We need to open these. We need to spread these wider, okay? She can't pull out of that. When I originally built it, she could, but then I added this piece, so she can't pull out. So it's loose on her neck, but she can't get her jaw through it. So you need to open it up, and the first thing to open it up is pull these up, straight up. You can climb right up there, lift that up. Now you can pull that open. I'm gonna open the other one, okay? There, see, now she slips out. That's the top one. Hey goats, hey goats, hey goats. You can have a little feed, look at that. What a treat. This board was frozen in the mud. It was blocking this. Just too many oh crap moments and the goats are getting locked up in the barn for now. Basically, the fences are effective if the goats have food they like. But it's almost impossible to keep a goat in a fence when they start becoming unhappy with their food. I mean, even our best fences, our four by four um, woven wire fences that are a physical barrier, they actually technically can jump those. They've never jumped that high, they've jumped just about six inches lower than that. The goats are fine in here. It's, it's a little dark, but other than that, they're eating the same thing, they're eating hay. A little bit of alfalfa, or right now just a little grain. Let's go guys, chores are done. To show you this. Some beavers have been working on this apple tree. As you might have guessed already, it was not beavers, it was goats. And this is just one of those things I actually kind of hate to share on the channel. It feels like we should have learned by now our lesson. And I actually recall several moments in the past few months where I said proudly, you know, we've not had any trouble with these goats getting out on the fruit trees, the goats we currently have. So like in the past many months, I think probably a year, we haven't had any issue with goats escaping. We got these goats, I think in April maybe, and um, they've not escaped from the fences. You know, I thought I had things set. And then two kind of disasters back to back, the goats got out of a weak spot in the fence, which has been fixed, got into the garden. And then after that, after I fixed that, they started running, just running through the gate. It's electric, it's hot, but with goats, they just, once they get out, once they realize there's better food on the other side, they just keep getting out. So I'm gonna upgrade that as I have in the past successfully 
to like six strands probably, which usually gets them enough shock that they quit going through it. And then we'll have to test it out. But in the meantime, they've really damaged the bark on this apple tree. It won't die to the roots, but the upper portion will die because the bark is all the way, eaten all the way around it. It's ringed or girdled. There's not a lot you can do. You, there is a graft you can, you can graft around that. I am not gonna attempt that. I am probably gonna have to cut that tree off about a foot off the ground and it will recover quickly. It's still a big setback for one of kind of the more full apple trees we have out here. You know, interestingly, um, this tree right here, a similar thing happened. This one got eaten by our last calf and I cut it off about a foot high, maybe 18 inches high, and it has recovered in about a year and a half, I think, two years, and it's recovered into a really nice full tree. So it's not a total loss because the root system's still there, and that root system will spur new and fast growth. And that is why the goats are on lockdown for a little while. I've got a couple hours this afternoon. Instead of just doing a partial project in the house up the hill. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow or have a full day. I'm gonna just clean up down here at the homestead. There's stuff everywhere. It's everything from trash, just the tool that was left out by the kids, to a project I had going. For now, there's still stuff everywhere, as you can see behind me, but it's all moving in the right direction. I'm really happy I'm doing this push to get things cleaned up, and hopefully I can finish up with chores in the next couple days and just do a little piece the next two days and kind of have the place not a total mess. Bree and I have to go pick up a car from the shop and found out something that could have actually been disastrous if I found it out in a different way, and that is the lug nut key from her Honda van is missing. I'll tell you what, it's a very inconvenient to find it out like this because what that means is they were not able to do her brakes because they couldn't get the tires off, the wheels off. But it's way better than finding it out on the side of the road with the flat tire. So we've talked to the Honda dealership. We're gonna try to get a lug nut key, I don't know what happened to it. It was there apparently. Uh, last time we had our brakes checked on and got tires months back. I hate to blame a kid, but it's, you know, either the shop kept it, which even the guy down there told me that he's accidentally kept them before and had to call people, or it's possible a kid grabbed it, didn't know what it was. More maple sap from our trees. All right guys, we gotta go soon. Hey, Hi. you know something I realized? What? It's better to find out that we're missing that lug nut key now than it is with a flat tire. And you can't even change it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We got the car. They were not able to change the brakes, but they did flush the power steering fluid, which it needed. Hey. Hi. What's cooking? Good looking? Just some roast chicken and veggies. All from the farm. Roast chicken, is that, where did that chicken come from? Well, I guess we didn't grow it, but we butchered the chicken. Our friends grew the chicken. You need to grow me some chicken next year. Okay, I'll try. Or we do, I don't mind helping. No, it's okay, we got a lot going on this year. A simple meal, I like simple meals, mostly grown from the farm. Nutritious, simple. Often cooked in one pot. Many of these can be cooked in one pot, which makes them even better. <laughs> Less cleanup. I will cut mine. Cool. We've been doing scribble art, and that's where you just scribble, 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 and then you color in your scribble lines, and it turns out really cool. See this? That's one of the dogs. I saw it. 